We're the Dropout, Dropout Kings, and you're listening to the Network 317. Hey. Alright, so where did the name Dropout Kings come from? Good question. So, we originally started as Phoenix Down. Um, whenever we got shopped to Napalm, uh, we realized that uh, in clo with closer inspection that there was another band called Phoenix Down. So we reached out to them, we tried to work something out, they never responded, so we were like, all right, let's create a whole new name. So we created a whole new name, and then we were originally thinking dropout season, but then with uh, the collaboration with the label, uh, we decided on Dropout King. So it was actually like a collaborative effort. Yeah. Uh, so but none of you are dropouts. Uh, all of uh, us are pretty much except Eddie. Yeah, he he has an agreement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. But it is pretty true. For the most part. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Uh, that six, yeah. Maybe. All right, so what is your favorite thing to do since you guys have been on the road and on tour and stuff? Uh, honestly, explore new things. Uh, if we're in somewhere new, we like to find out from the locals like all the good eats and yeah, it's mainly food, food spots. Food yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> meeting new people, meeting Yo. new people. Like some of the people I've been meeting every day, like it's just crazy. Like some of the stuff they say, it's just like so cool and like it's just amazing because you, it's like. Whenever you're, I was comparing it the other day, like whenever you're doing side quests in a video game, you like unlock the hidden dialogue from people. Like I feel like, like sometimes people just say stuff, and I'm like, dude, said thank that. you. Like it's just awesome. Like, you're making people great. Right? Yeah, I was or er, no, I was referencing like Skyrim. So, oh, yeah, because the hidden my dialogue. wardrobe that went way through the roof. Uh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. We've been copping a lot Walmart, of Walmart, Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshall, Marshall, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, no, oh, oh, I got all the shirts. Oh, you know, so yeah. Alright, so with the release of your first album, what type of release party and like that's a good things question. are you gonna that start? What are you question. gonna do for it? We haven't even asked these questions. Right. Uh, <laughs> so I was planning on doing like a it would be like a listening party for audio dope, but it would also be like a new metal night because we did that once. Uh, we, and we just like literally did a DJ set, we just like played the jams, you know, yeah, all yeah. the new metal jams. So we did that. So I thought it'd be cool if we like did that, like a little listening party and then do a little new metal night too, do some like it turns into a giant karaoke thing, so it's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's super <laughs> everybody just gets super shitty and then they just <laughs> You know, they do their thing. Yeah, yeah. But uh yeah, so we were thinking of doing something like that and then or you know, this you know, just hang out with some people in Arizona. Yeah, and yeah, just, probably you know, just be like good friends. Yeah, it'd be like yeah, a like, like a post, kickback, post, little kickback yeah, type yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. All right, so this is one for all of you. Mm -hmm. Xbox or PlayStation? Oh, Ooh, PlayStation. PlayStation all day. Oh, yeah. Xbox. Yeah, oh, wow. I'm with the one, yeah. man. I was always a PlayStation have... guy, but then 360 came out, and then yeah. from there, I'm just like, I have Xbox. neither, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say PC on that. I'm gonna say PC <laughs> or Switch. Wow. I'm gonna say PC or What do you say, Man, that's cr uh, I mean, on the real, like, I give it the PlayStation right now, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good. I'm saying that's what the MK gets. That's what the MK gets handled. And that's Rocket what, League, bro. That's what the Z Fighter. Rocket League. NBA 2K, I be serving it. Rocket League's on But PC, honestly, though. I gotta say, I hate when people play and Xbox Switch. or PlayStation. I and they're like, oh, I only sure. play this on PlayStation. Like, I don't know how to play. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> the weapon controls is the same. Like that's not an excuse. Not like the D pad and the stick is switch, but that's it. Like, hey, but I will say on I, Call of Duty, like, the grenades and the gun and the aimings are switched. Oh, and that no. fucked me up. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. You ain't really got that Call of Duty like that, huh? Yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> it does get tricky. Let's All right. Um, who filmed Go uh, Going Rogue? And how much input did you guys have on Yo, the whole video? Uh, that's a great. You have. I made up everything. everything. Yeah. <laughs> I made, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so it was a guy. It was our friend named Jacob Reynolds. He's filmed all the videos so yep. far, except the very first Street Sharks video when we very first came out under Phoenix Down. But after that one, it was all him. Um, we filmed that in this really popular warehouse. A lot of people do like d just all kinds of weird films in there. It's, it's just production. yeah, it's like oh. a production studio. But uh, so it was kind of just on the it fly. was free ball, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, we okay. went in there with very little play because 
because we, we had two other videos out and they had a very in-depth story so we were all or we pretty much came to the conclusion that this video we want it to be very simple uh just very like in your face very aesthetic i literally so, just ran in there and put the janitor right yeah on, and, and, and that, that was with the front and then we're like oh my god boy yeah, yeah. we just kept taking steps yeah, from but there but i have a theory <laughs> that it, when you go in there with this little plan stuff as little plan out as you possibly can it turns out the best that way yeah, yeah i mean it can't go wrong right, yeah. right there's right. so little to go wrong yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> just kept throwing stuff we have little yeah. easter eggs in the video too right and which was an afterthought as well. Yeah. Well, See, I noticed the ones the in Phoenix Down shirt that we written. Never off. mind. I noticed that you know it was a Warriors theme. Yeah, yeah. right. I yeah. got onto that like, yeah. from the beginning. No. You see the screen. The yeah, yeah. That I forgot that. that all you, the oh, you saw the screen saver. Yeah. 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 I forgot we had that conversation. Such a classic actually. movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I dig the video. That's my favorite one so far. Thank you. All right, so. What's the most surprising thing you have learned about the industry since you've been signed? <coughs> uh, you never know who's listening and you never know who's watching. Yeah. Uh, at yeah. any point in time, That's you could have one of the most, uh, one of the most yeah. beneficial interactions with someone you didn't know was watching, and you could also have the most negative one, depending on how you are. You know, yeah. you yeah. could say the wrong thing, it could fuck yes. you. You yeah. can say the right thing, it could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. So you never know who's watching. That's yeah, what I've sure. learned. It's crazy. That's a good one. Yeah. Alright, so you're currently on tour with Ota. Is there anyone in the future that you hope to go on tour with? I would uh, love to go on tour with Limp Biscuit for sure. Yeah, that would be pretty um, fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> To go on tour with Scar Lord or like oh, really? Ghost Main, yeah, uh, you know, someone like that. Oh, yeah, Ooh, yeah, 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 Shit, what have I been jamming? Um, Damn. Drake's we, new album. Yeah, we've all been drink, jamming the new Drake. Guys. Yeah, yeah, that album. Yeah, last Drake shit is tight. Like, actually, yeah. J-Rock. Yeah, J-Rock. Yeah, the Kiki time. J-Rock. J-Rock Redemption. Okay. Jaden Smith. Jaden yeah, Smith's Jayden fire. fire. That shit is fire. I mean, that's 2017, but it's fire. It's still so killing yeah. yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Travis Scott's new album, Astro World, just came out today. I think I'm the only person that's bumped it in the bank, but it's fucking fire. It's fucking flames. <laughs> no, no, no. That boy is lit. We should go on tour with him, too. Oh, yeah. Dave Show. Dave Show's new album. I've been doing that a lot. Denzel Curry. Yeah. Another Denzel person's Curry. album is tight who also go on tour and then will be sick to Thanks. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Was like Monster Flames new album? Was that this year? Was that, that was last year? year. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a good album. Though. That was a good album. I like that. I'm trying to think of who else dropped shit. This year? Was it? Did Dead Drop drop this year? No, that was no, last that year. Was last yeah, that's what I'm saying. This year's coming. Yeah, yeah, it's gone quite fast. Come there hasn't been many good drops. Oh shoot. Um, personally too, I like the uh. Oh, three of the Kanye albums, the one with Pusha, the, the one with Nas, and okay. the one with Kid Cudi. Yeah. They were all different. Oh, and his solo yeah. one. So yeah, like four, all of them were very different, but I thought they were all pretty cool. Like, and I was happy to hear Kid Cudi like rap again because he's been, you know, like that he was rapping and then he went super like indie yeah. rap, and then yeah. like you know, but I got attached to his his like rappy side, so it was cool to hear him kind of come back on some new Kanye beats yeah. and do his little hummy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he be killing that shit, man. I was got him going dumb. <laughs> All right, uh, what made you want to go on tour with us? Uh, well, we're label mates for one thing. Um, and it was just like, it was happening at the right time. So it, we already had that connection and it kind of, in a sense, it fell into our laps. So we were just like, yeah, I mean, this seems like the most beneficial thing for us that we could do. We just this the ball rolling. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a good get our feet wet. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, because I remember asking, like, what's up with the tour? Like, when are you guys going on tour? Yeah, we didn't want it. Yeah, I mean, it was just. Yeah, yeah, 
it was just that. like so like yeah a lot of it had to be under wraps and like yeah, you know and we were just prepping like after the album yeah. it was, you know it's just like so much shit that was like just trying to get a line like yeah. i couldn't really just put my finger on me like this is what we're doing yeah. until like now it was yeah because yeah. 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 in this industry it's hurry up and wait hurry up and wait hurry yeah. up and wait yeah and i like i like hotel's message too like i didn't even know about it until after the fact but i fuck with the shit she's talking about she's keeping it 1000 so that's yeah, and she does have a really positive message, you know.